Welcome back to Edupedia World. The last lecture we discussed about the power of a lens. Today we will conclude the lecture, the chapter on lens by discussing a simple application where lens is used which is lens as a simple microscope or a magnifying glass. We will see the particular example of uh, the lens where it acts as a simple microscope and uh, why do we need it and how exactly does it work? What is the magnification of uh, that simple microscope? We'll find it out in today's lecture. Let's start with uh, the lecture then. You must have encountered uh, some time or the other when you used a magnifying glass to read something very small written on a piece of paper. So. Uh, how does a magnifying glass work and why do we need a magnifying glass to see small things? Why cannot our eye see a very small thing? The reason is that eye has, uh, our eye, human eye has something which is known as the least distance of distinct vision. So let me write it down. Least distance of distinct vision and uh, this distance for human eye is 25 centimeter so for our eye to be able to focus on something the object should be at least 25 centimeters away from the eye but there is another restriction of the eye that is uh, uh, the human eye needs the object to su sustain at least 1 by 60th of a degree on the eye for it to be visible to the human eye. That is this much degrees object should subtend on I right only then can we able to see the object now suppose a object is very very small a very very small object and if we keep it at our distance of minimum vision that is 25 centimeter then it's possible that since the object is very very small the angles subtend by it is less than 1 by 60th of a degree then we will not be able to see the object so if there is some way such that the angle subtend by this object becomes more than 1 by 60th of a degree then we will be able to see the object by our eye that is exactly the concept which on which is based the working of a simple microscope or a magnifying glass what happens is that we use a convex lens for this purpose we have already seen the ray diagram of this uh, scenario but I will redo it so that uh, we are on the same page what is happening here is that we please let me draw it first this is the lens the principal axis here will be f1 and somewhere around here will be 2f1 here it would be f2 and 2f2 so what we do is that we bring the object that we need to observe which is really really small between our optical center and the first focal length so we place the object somewhere around here as a result what will happen let's uh, 
see what the ray diagram gives us we draw a line parallel to principal axis and this ray will pass through the F2 like this we draw a line through the O which passes like this so these two rays are not going to meet for real but they will meet virtually behind let me trace it back using a different color let me so if we retrace these lines behind we can see that this rays will meet somewhere over here right and then the image will be formed here okay and as we can clearly see that the image has become much larger now the eye can visually perceive the image it can see the image also the distance the initial real object distance the O is this much whereas the image distance which we can see has become this much so our criteria of least distance of distinct vision will also be fulfilled even if the object is very very close to the eye right so what we do is that we place the object quite close to the eye and we focus it such that uh, the criteria of least distance of distinct vision is satisfied and we are able to observe the object also depending on what is the power of the lens we can magnify the, uh, the image further. Now the magnification of the magnification for the simple microscope or the magnifying lens is given by the relation m is equal to 1 plus d upon f where d is this distance the distance at which the image is formed and f is the focal length I'm not going into the derivation of the magnifying power I'm not going to derive this this is beyond the scope of the syllabus but uh, what you can understand from this relation is that by decreasing the focal length that is when we decrease focal length what we know is that the power is increasing so by decreasing focal length or by increasing the power we can increase the magnifying power of the lens or simple microscope right so keep this in mind and from this we can understand what is the magnifying power of the magnifying glass right and uh, we also come to know how the magnification can be tailored by using lens of a different focal length okay so this gives a simple application of uh, lens what we have studied we had seen this whole ray diagram previously but here we have seen a real life application of the same so with this I will conclude the lecture on the chapter lens the next lecture will start discussing about uh, dispersion and spectrum so i hope you enjoyed the whole chapter of lens and uh, hope to see you in the next lecture to discuss about spectrum till then have a great day goodbye